Welcome everyone, I'm the Depressed Dior, and this is Final Fantasy VI, and I'm a moron. Alright. I'll explain why I'm a moron soon enough. I'm pretty sure I'm getting it in the com- I've already gotten it in the comments. Well, at least by the time this video comes out. Because I technically haven't uploaded any videos yet. Anyway, here's Umaro. What's up? No. Actually. Well. I said I was going to talk about Gogo, -Go, so I will. Go go and let's go, Mario. Why not? Hmm, actually, let's go with Salis or Salis rather. All right. So notice that there's. Hmm, yeah, notice that when you go to uh, Go Go status screen, you can actually get an arrow for his abilities. He's if you don't mess with him at all, he can only mimic. What mimic does is, if nothing's happening, he will just do a normal attack. But if something, someone else was to do an action before, uh, before his turn activates, uh, he will mimic that action, which includes casting spells, using lures, doing whatever. And if you um, go to these blank spots, you can choose to give him whatever abilities you want. So you can give him steel making law completely and utterly useless. You can give him Blitz. So you get the idea. You can pretty much give him anything, including Dance. And if you give him Magic, he will know any spells that your party members know. Which means, right now, she, uh, in this particular party, if I have Magic, he knows all the spells that Selyse knows. So, good stuff. Here, have Steel. And... we'll go with... Uh, equipment wise, okay, he's already equipped with stuff. Okay, that's fine by me. Anyway, now let's talk about why I'm a moron. Lift off. We need to go to the Velt. Now, notice I have three people in my party. If you recall, when we got uh, Gao, we had two people in our party originally. You need, you actually need space in your party to take Gao back. It's just like if you were to send him, if you, it was like, excuse me. It would be like sending him leaping in the belt, because you'll leave your party, but you need to keep your party members to be three so you can pick them back up. It's the same thing applies here. So we're going to go ahead and just hang around here for a bit. Eventually I'll run into an encounter. Thank you. So let's try... We'll do ice. And he'll do ice. Of course, he's a lot weaker. Wahoo! Oh. You strangers, go away. This is what happens if you hit Gal. <laughs> he thinks you're strangers. Alright, so we need to go without Umaro. <laughs> or at least let him finish his turn. I'm not talk I'm not, I'm not saying you guys are kitty cats. I have a cat next to me. Yeah. Alright. Well, now you got to see the character, so there you go. We'll just have these two. Probably should have get picked up some of the sprint shoes, but whatever. I forgot, Umaro's a berserker, so you can't tell him to stop attacking. He will keep attacking, which is actually really bad for a lot of uh, for some fights, including boss fights. Good luck hitting Terra. There we go. Hey, Gal. I'm Gal. I'm your friend. Let's travel together. So there you go, we have Gal again. Hi, Gal. You got anything new? Fine by me, I don't care. So that's taken care of. So where we last left off, we actually did a bunch, uh, few side quests. You know, getting Kogo, doing, um... Strago stuff. Speaking of Strago, I probably should have 
shouldn't have taught him magic. I should have stuck with just using lore spells. Oh well, live and learn. I do have Grand Trench, so I could just spam that a bunch. Alright, how are we going to do this? You know what? Let's pick up Locke. I'd, I'd rather not pick up Locke, but I need him to get some other items. And I'll deal with some other minor side quests later. Question is, is where is this place? Oh yeah, it's over here. So if you go over here and you try to land... Right, we're going in. You form two groups. So we're going to have one group be... Celise, Terra, Strago, and... Here. You can go. Actually, you know what? Let's have... Yeah, we'll have Gal, since we haven't been using him. And then for this group, we're going to be going with Realm, Mog, and these guys. For no particular reason. Split up into two parties. Use the Y button to switch between groups. So there you go. Now what's convenient is one of my groups has the Boogle Charm. It's also convenient. You are not getting that. Take that. You are not getting that either. You need a Power Sash. So, this is actually kind of a long cave. already. Ah, wrong buttons. And luckily I do have a character in here that has sprint shoes. Yeah. And a charm bangle. So what you can do is you can go up here, be like, hey, let's hit that switch for you. And then I press the wrong button again. And then you switch again. And then you can go up here. Now, you can actually walk across those spikes, but you take damage every time you t hit a spike. Which I uh, will deal with later. Great. You know what? Be a Rhino Tar. Wow. That was pathetic. Oh yeah, I don't have any equipment on you, do I? And now you're a zombie. Oh wow. Not too bad. Oh yeah, I gotta revive you first. He also right now has no um, relics equipped, so let's fix that. You can have an amulet. Equipment-wise, let's give you... Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Hello, trap. Ow. I actually hurt everybody. Chaos Dragon. Here, be a guard. Here, do... Grand Train. You know, I never actually went and, like, rested up after my, you know, last two quests or so. That's no big deal. Eh, not too bad. With how much power, uh, magic power Strago has right now, that was actually okay damage. It pierces through all defenses, which is always good. Six magic points, wow. Oh, we got two routes we can take here. Ha! Huh. So this little bridge here covers up the, the pit, and you get Wing Edge, which I don't even know what it does. Wing Edge. 
much. Oh, that's right. It's a lock weapon. It's actually a rather decent lock weapon. So neato. And we're gonna take the other stairs just to see where it goes. And go from there. Sea flowers. Try fire two. Oh yeah, that didn't work. This place is actually can be relatively tough. Why aren't you dead yet? Fine, ice. And ice. I mean they do hit for 343, which is pretty good for a melee attack. Why are you still alive? Thank you. Okay, they have around 4,000 HP each. That's annoying. But I do have like 99 tinctures, so I could just spam spell my way through this. Anyway, you end up on this side now. Go around. That thing. Now we can get to use this, uh, use Realm, the awesome. Go Realm. Empty. Oh yeah, a lot of these chests are gonna be empty. Warp Stone. Since I mentioned that this is, actually I kinda spoiled it, saying that this is where it leads to lock. But that's okay. But yeah, this is a lock, and you know what lock does, he steals things. So, a lot of these chests are going to be empty. Alright, we can now take you back the other way. Which isn't a big deal. Nothing over there. The reason I have Realm in this group is just in case I have a monster in the box. She can handle pretty much anything because she, ha she has a commonizer and a gem box and has over a hundred, you know, magic power. Hey, birdie. You die. You die. Oh, you took it. Shim Sham. Apparently, it reduces health by half. And Gao's dead. Should I let Gao get back up? Probably not. Because quite frankly, I don't care about using Gao. He's way too weak at this point. Supposedly, in the SNES version, there's some ways they abuse the uh, system with Gao and make him really, really powerful. Using, uh, like, the, it's like, it involves using, like, the air lancet and using, like, a, a cat monster rage. And it uh, does quite a bit of damage. This is probably going to be empty, but I'll do it anyway. Yep, empty. Use fire three. We'll use ice two. If I knew what level these guys are, I would try doing level 4 flare. Wow, you're still alive. And now my MSN going off. Oh well. 5,000 damage, wow. Oh, it's probably because it does more damage to single targets. Terra gained a level. Still getting plus two magic power. Okay. All right. Fine. I'll raise Gal. There we go. Keep going. Now what you can do here is apparently 
block myself out. Which is probably not smart of me. But then you just loop around. Hit that next. Go up here. There's a save point. So I'm probably not going to touch it. Hey, it's phase. Blowfish. Always does a thousand damage. It's very annoying. It's also a move you can learn with lore. I already know it, though, because I learned it from a cactar. back then. I don't have a good group for this. Dragonhorn uh, makes jump continuous. Um, as far as I know, I've only seen this... Well, I've, I haven't really used jump that much, but uh, if you have both the dragon boots and the dragon horn, when you do jump, you'll do like more than one jump. Though usually I only see it jump twice or maybe three times. Anyway. Well, this is our group, I guess. So we're going to have to somehow... Uh, fight this dragon with just realm, essentially. Hey, red dragon. Fire two. I'll use one song. This is a fire dragon, so obviously vulnerable to uh, ice, and that didn't do too much. But Realm is, like, uh, awesome, so we should be fine. Plasma! And you're dead. Up oh, Flare. Ooh. Don't kill Realm. Bum rush. There we go. Dragon dead. 
Good thing I brought Realm. Straighto! Four dragons left. Straighto is... Just a really strong sword. Alright, no worries there. Alright, that's the end of the line for her. And we just gotta keep going. And deal with random encounters. Gal leveled. What level are you, Gal? Okay, 30-something. Give me that. Ribbon! Yay! Now we have two ribbons. Which is good. Extremely good, in fact. Alright, we need to head over this way. Then we can hop across. And guess what? that. Step on that. I'm gonna go with Solise. For no particular reason. Bolt three, nice three. That's from t that's because tr uh, Terra's equipped with Tread Touch right now. Not a big deal though. Hmm. Ah, here we go. Luck. They're all safe. Behold, a legendary relic that can restore life. That looks like... Magicite. Correct. Legend has it that ages ago the phoenix was turned to stone. And many legends are based on facts. This has some major cracks in it, though. I fear it may have lost its power over time. Look, that's for Rachel, isn't it? I wasn't able to save Rachel. I've lost all sense of purpose. My life will have no meaning until I can right this terrible wrong. Will you come with us only as far as calling it in? You might have noticed that weird little star thing um, off to the side. I think that's just an extra exit if you come back here. If only the Magicite didn't bear those deep cracks. I think you've been wasting your time, young man. Whoa! 
Ah, uh, the magicite's gonna shatter. Lock. Rachel. Lock, I've dreamed of seeing you. I wanted to hear your voice. Rachel. The Phoenix has given me so little time. I have to leave again soon. But I have something I must tell you. Luck. With you, I was so happy. In the instant that the accident occurred, I thought only of you. And about the joy you brought me. Thank you, Luck. I'll never forget you. Rachel. I have to go now. I'll always love you. You must now cast off the anguish you've been harboring inside for so long. Today I set you, your heart free. You must learn to love yourself again and regain your self-respect. Self Phoenix, be reborn again and give your power to Locke. Rachel! I feel lighter than air. From here on, I'll be alright. Let's go. We have work to do. What's up? Potion. Phoenix Down, X Ether, Elixir, Flame Shield, Valiant Knife. The treasures of the Phoenix Cave. Right, let's move out. We have an appointment with Kefka. And okay, I have Lock and Silice. Okay, whatever. Here. Actually, you don't need to worry about that. I do have the flame shield now, which is very similar to the ice shield. Oh, also, um, Valiant Knife. Gain power as HP decreases. And it works for, for a lock of all people. Doo -doo -doo. Where's the shield? Flame shield. Protects you from forums. I mean, whatever. Uh, you absorb fire, weak against water, uh, no effect from holy. And it has end block. Which is always nice. You can also learn fire spells from it. Not a big deal. Anyway. Oh, we also have Phoenix now. <laughs> I guess I forgot to mention that. Yeah, here's Phoenix. Uh, covers battle status. Essentially, it resurrects everyone. It's also the only Phoenix that knows uh, life two and, fire and life three, and it's the only other. Um, Esper that can learn a level 3 element spell, which is Fire 3. So, that's why I kind of kind of cheese my way through the t Tower of Magi, because, quite frankly, it would have taken a while for me to get Life 3. So, I'm not going to worry about that. Now, what we need to do is go in here. Come here, Mog. You. You. You and you, just in case. Lift off. Now, the only reason I want lock 
just to go back to Narsh. And what you can do here is you can pick locks, which means you can go into all these areas. Most of them you don't really need to go into. There's actually only about two places you need to go to. But I'll go ahead and unlock them all. I mean, someone's got to be able to get into this place. Ah, oh, this place wasn't locked. And it doesn't seem like anyone's here. Gee, I wonder what happened to, like, Bannon and all of them. Like, the Resistance. They kind of just, like, disappeared off the face of the Earth. Okay, that's not locked. So why was that in locked? Whatever, item shop. Am I going to pick all these locks? You bet I will. Stop winking at me, lock. You're only here because you can pick locks. Ah! Cough, take this. Curse shield. If we could, could break its curse, imagine its defensive power. So, we just got the curse shield, which is... It's, it is cursed. Makes you weak to all the elements, minus 7 to all stats, has 0 in any defensive uh, stats as well. So it's essentially a useless shield. Furthermore, if you have it equipped, it will, at the beginning of every battle, you will be hit with like Muddle, Condemned, and a number of other effects that are really, really bad. So here you go, Terra. Have yourself a Curse Shield. You might be wondering, why am I doing this? Well, the, the way you break the curse is by constantly using the shield. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and replace the Marvel shoes with, conveniently enough, we have a ribbon. If you have a ribbon equipped, uh, the, the effects, at least the status effects from the shield, are negated. So you can fight freely. We'll have some lower stats, but that's about it. So there you go. That's one thing taken care of. Now we just gotta pick some more locks. I already know where I'm supposed to go, but I'm opening all of them anyway. Oh, this one was unlocked. And the elder doesn't exist. I don't even know if anyone actually talks about Narsh. Like, if you go and talk to them, they'll mention like if it's been invaded by monsters or something. Anyway, here's the last stop, the weapon shop. And this part, you get a choice. I've been waiting for you. I wanted to give you, uh, give you this. Why didn't you just go outside so I can actually didn't have to pick up a lock? I ran a weapon shop for 70 years. This stone gives off an eerie aura. If I melted it and forged a sword, it'd be powerful. Well, make this stone into a sword? Okay, so you can either get the Magicite Ragnarok, or you can get the Sword Ragnarok. Um, the Stone Ragnarok, I'll go ahead and explain right now, is, um, it has one spell on it, which is Ultima, which is the most powerful spell in the game. It does, pierces through all defenses, does non-elemental damage, can't be resisted. It's essentially what you spam throughout the rest of the game, uh, once you get everyone to learn it. Um, it definitely makes the game rather easy, though this game's already proven itself to be rather easy. But, I'm gonna go without Ultima. Now, it doesn't mean I can't learn Ultima, there's other ways to learn Ultima. But, um, we're gonna make the sword. Right. And, there you go. So, we should have Ragnarok. Randomly cast... <laughs> I didn't know it did that. Okay, apparently can randomly cast Flare. Furthermore, it gives you 30 evasion, 30 end block. Two it has maxed out battle power, and gives plus 7 to all stats except for speed. So, we're gonna be using that. Optimum. So, look at my stats now. <laughs> Pretty insane. And if I want to, I can equip the enhancer. In fact, I will equip the enhancer, because it gives uh, evasion. Alright, so there you go. Um, unfortunately you can't learn any spells from it, but that's alright. 
Now, next thing we can do... Actually, a, a, a kind of silly thing you can do, actually, is you can actually bet this... You can bet Ragnarok in the Coliseum. Am I going to do that? Probably. We'll see. Okay. But I think I'm going a little over time. But I'll go ahead and sh I'm going to show you the monster. Uh, actually, why not? We'll explain the Coliseum. Because it's not fun. If I'm going to do that, though, I'm going to switch to the Force Shield. Alright, 107 M block. At my weapon. And here's the vent. Okay, I'm going to save the game because I don't want to screw this up. Alright, uh, generally the strategy I try to go for is to increase my M block as much as possible and hope for the best. Because the other thing you can do is you can make a character that only has like one sp good spell and leave it at leave it at that, and that can help. But overall, it's uh, very it's very annoying. Let's go ahead and talk to people. The more precious the item wager, the better your prize will be. This is Dragon's Neck Coliseum. Champions from all over the world come here to fight for prizes. Hey, Ultras. Look at me, I'm a receptionist. Woo ha ha. Now, you better watch out. Uh, watch what you bet. Or Master Troopon will just come and take it from you. Blah blah blah, same stuff. I'm an Imperial Trooper. Probably the last of them. I have some valuable information for you. Talk to the Emperor twice. Use this when you've found the place where the Emperor hid a secret treasure. Talk to the Emperor twice. Someone's been pretending to be me. Don't be fooled. Battles of the Col Coliseum are one-on-one. -on -one. Creatures from all over the world come, come here to compete. Ultras is your receptionist. He couldn't pay his debt, so I put him to work. I figure he'll be here, uh, here about another hundred years. Get a load of the crowds. Get a load of the crowds. So there you go. I talked to everyone. Except for the innkeeper. Alright, this is what you can do. Um, explanation. We fight for items, etc. here. First, choose the thing you want to wager. Next, your opponent will appear. Choose someone from your party to fight those opponents. One-on-one -on -one auto battle will then take place. The item you wait, uh, wager covers your participation fee. If you win, you'll be rewarded with an even better item. That's all there is to it. So, as mentioned, one-on-one, -on -one, auto battle. It's awful. And where... Okay, that's Ragnarok. You get random stuff from it. Alright, we're going with Terra. Block Flare. Firewall. Also, Force Shield gives the automatic shell at the beginning of combat. Did you just cast ice on this thing? Okay, it actually is hurt by ice. This is not the same boss that we fought in the uh, crypt, obviously, because it's flare for one thing. But it's auto battle. I, I cannot control the fight, which means Terra's doing whatever she feels like doing, which can be very bad. Oh, great. Hey, he ran out of MP. That's good, because Blaster can cause Petrify. Now, the problem with Morph, in, with the, uh, in the Coliseum, is for some reason it takes longer for her to take actions. There, and you won. That wasn't too bad. And we get Illumina. Which is supposedly the strongest sword in the game. So let's take a look at that. Illumina, a legendary sword. Plus 50 M block, plus 50 of 8, plus 7 to all stats, and 255 battle power. Um, doesn't seem to cause a flare anymore, unfortunately. But that's okay. So there you go. 
79 and block. Good stuff. Thanks, Tara. Well, that's the gist of it. That was that was probably the smoothest auto battle I've had. Um, like literally, it is completely random what they do. So if you have a lot of spells, uh, you're gonna be in a world of hurt. I've seen ter I've seen characters just sit there and cast spells like remedy on themselves when they have no status effects up, or just constantly cast float or cast try to cast status effects on bosses like stop and all that junk or sleep of all things. So. I'm a little surprised that Terra actually, you know, for one, did normal attacks, and two, actually used attack spells when she did cast spells. So, that worked out well. We got Illumina, the strongest sword in the game. So there you go. I think that's about it for right now. So, I'm Theta Rusty Or, and this was Final Fantasy VI. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later.